Hi everyone and welcome to Surface Modeling in Onshape. I have here a reference image on which will serve as an inspiration to build a 3D model using the Surface Modeling tools of Onshape. Okay, let's begin by heading over to Onshape under Create. In addition, I am simply using a free subscription in Onshape. Once more, under Create, I'm going to select Document, and let me name this as Hair-Blower, creating a public document. My next intent is to insert the reference image, which I showed you a while ago. To do that, let's head back to Documents, to where we started, heading to the upper left, I'm going to select this on shape logo going to documents and this time under create I'm going to select import files but first I'm going to head over to our Windows Explorer and uh, copy the location to where I have saved our reference image once more heading over to the address bar that's currently highlighted in blue I'm going to hit control C to copy and back to Onshape, selecting Import Files, and uh, paste that location, and uh, select our JPEG reference. Selecting Open. Okay, file uploaded. Notice we now have the blower reference dot JPG. Let's now head back to our hair blower. To import our reference image, let's head over to Front View. This time, I'm going to right-click, selecting New Sketch. Head up to our Sketch uh, Toolbar. And notice under this uh, drop-down, we have Insert Image. Let's now locate that reference image. Heading over to Other Documents tab. Heading to My On Shape and selecting Blower Dash Reference. Let me double left click on this. Hit N, the shortcut to View Normal 2. Let me zoom out. Left click and hold. I'm still holding my left mouse button and release. Moving forward, the distance from this point going to this point is 9 inches. To recalibrate this image, what we need to do next, I'm going to hit L4 line, create a vertical line coming from this horizontal construction line moving down. So notice the inferred vertical constraint. Left click here, hit escape, create another line from this horizontal line, moving all the way down, hitting escape. Let me move this line to my preferred location. Same with this line. And once more, the preferred distance between these two lines is 9 inches, hitting D. The shortcut for dimension, let's select this vertical line and this vertical line. In addition, notice our units is currently set in millimeters. I'm going to left click here to place our dimension. And this time I'm going to key in 9 and I N for inch. Hitting enter. So notice it resized into 9 inches, and as I double left click our dimension, it says 9 I N or inch. Hitting escape. In addition, I want the tip of this hole coincident with our origin, so I'm going to create another line. Hitting L for line, placing our first point here. Left click, hitting escape. Let me reposition this to be at the middle 
Hit D for dimension. Let's dimension the distance between this construction line and this line. Left click here. And I'm going to hit enter and accept that value. Let's apply a dimension as well to this vertical line and this vertical line. Accept this value, hitting enter. Lastly, let's define the distance between these two vertical lines. Placing the dimension here, hitting enter, and hitting escape. And at this time, we're going to head over to our constraints, selecting coincident. Let's select this point and our origin. Hitting escape. So notice from blue it turned into black, which means this is now fully defined. Lastly, let's turn this uh, three lines into a construction entity. Let me select this three. Next, heading over to our sketch toolbar, selecting construction. To deselect the current selection, simply left-click on our blank graphics area.